Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to explore the process of building the Node.js Express application and deploying it to the Azure App Services. Before we dive into the coding, let's ensure that our development environment is set up correctly. Make sure you have the latest Node.js version and NPM installed. To install the Node.js, you can visit nodejs.org and you can install the Node.js latest stable version. After the Node.js installation, you can download and install Visual Studio code by visiting code.visualstudio.com. I already have Node and Visual Studio code installed. So let's begin. I will create a basic Node.js Express application. So I'm going to create a new folder here. We'll open the terminal and we'll execute this command. And we'll close this. So here we can see RKY Express app is now created. Let me open this folder with Visual Studio code. So this app is now opened. Let's open the terminal and if we see the package.json, here we can see if there are few dependencies we need to install. So currently there is no node module folder. So let's do the installation. So npm install. If you are facing any problem at this stage, then please check your node version. So now let's start the application by npm start command then this express app is up and running. Now if I go to views and index.ejs and write something and save the file, go back to the browser and refresh the page, here we can see the changes are getting reflected. So our application is up and running. Now we will be deploying our application to Azure and we need one Azure tools Visual Studio Code extension to perform this action. I already have installed it. You will be able to see the install button. Just click on it and these extension pack will be installed related to all Azure services. And then just go back to this. You will be able to see app services. So the Node.js application we need to deploy to the app services. Similarly, other things are also available here. For example, a static web application that is something else we will be talking in another video. Right now we are interested to deploy the Node.js application which we need to use app services to install and deploy. So for this just right click and click on create new web application and give it a name. Hit enter. Select the Node.js version and your tier. And here you can see create web app and this app name is succeed. Now it is saying created new web application with this name and this is the domain and click on deploy. So I'm clicking on the deploy, selecting this application and now it is saying always deploy the workspace this app name to this domain selecting yes. So anytime in future if I'm going to make some changes going to deploy then it will not ask me the same question and it will understand this app I need to deploy on this domain. So now it is saying deploying and we can click the output window just to see how the things are working. So here we can see starting the deployment, creating the zip file and so on. We, we need to wait for few minutes for deployment to be completed and then we can explore the application. So now it says deployment to this this domain is completed and I can click browse website. And now we can see it is saying express welcome to express this is demo. Alright and if we uh, we will be going to the app services 
just to check then here we can see the same application is installed here and we can see a lot of information about it and we can make some further configuration changes like course and so many things here and this was the default domain we can also set up custom domain etc so this is the azure uh, dashboard of app service and this is the application and this is visual studio code where our changes are there if i need to make further changes and click on save then i can deploy this application again so if i will expand this app service then here we can see this is the app service and this is our app which was installed and if i will open it then i can explore files these are the relevant files and these are the deployments so so far only one deployment has been done and after making the further changes if i'm gonna click deploy to web application then it will ask me are you sure then i will click deploy and one more deployment record will be generated here so here in the output panel we can see the deployment has been started and it is in progress right now once the deployment is completed we can see the deployment history as well and once we will refresh the page in the browser the new changes will get updated so we can see the deployment to this this is completed and if i'm going to click on the browse website then we can see the further changes are coming here and all into the deployment details one more deployment is now associated here so this is all about this video so congratulations you have successfully built and deployed a node.js express application on azure app services i hope this tutorial was helpful if you have any questions or run into any issues please feel free to ask into the comments below thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content and hit the notification bell to stay updated